Let's have a look at what we mean by an elementary first order differential equation and an example of how to solve one of these in practice. And the simplest form of the first order differential equation is dy dx equal to f of x, or more generally the derivative of the unknown function with respect to the independent variable is a function of the independent variable. And where possible, these are solved by integrating f of x with respect to x. And in the example we're about to do, we'll look at an initial value problem where an initial condition is also specified, and we'll see that this is taken into account after we first obtain a general expression for y. So the example we're going to look at is as follows. Solving the differential equation dy dx equals 4x divided by 1 plus x squared, satisfying the initial condition y naught equal to 3. So here clearly dy dx is indeed just a function of x and so therefore we need to integrate the right hand side to find y. That is y is the integral of 4x divided by 1 plus x squared with respect to x. And this one here is going to require integration by substitution and to see how to work out this antiderivative it's going to be, we could think of it as broken up as 1 divided by 1 plus x squared times 4x dx. And you'll notice 1 plus x squared on the denominator here. If we were to let that be equal to u, then we would find that du dx is equal to 2x, which we could rewrite as du equals 2x dx. And if this substitution is going to be successful, we need to rewrite everything on the right-hand side in terms of u and du. And the first part, 1 divided by 1 plus x squared, that clearly would just be 1 divided by u. But du was 2x dx, whereas on the right-hand side we had 4x dx, which is 2 lots of du. So therefore y is equal to 1 divided by u, times 2 du, the integral of that. And that now is going to be a straightforward antiderivative. y is equal to the constant 2 can come out the front, so 2 times the integral of 1 on u du, which works out to be 2 ln, the absolute value of u plus c, and then substituting back what we started with for u, we would see that the general solution is y equal to 2 ln modulus 1 plus x squared plus constant c.